another happy news note, well, depending on how you view sprint races, um, mm -hmm. F1 has announced its 2025 sprint calendar. So let me just, you know, lay these out there for you. China was a sprint race this year. Repeating, fine. Miami was a sprint race, fine. Coda, why do we have two sprint races in the U.S.? I could not tell you, but Thank it's been you. a sprint before. And fine. Brazil, love this sprint, happy about it. Qatar, okay, fine. fine. Six, but not least, Spa. Why? It's so bad. I, I the, the, literally the first thing that you and I said to each other when they released the, the sprint calendar last week is why, in why the, is what in the world is spa sprint? doing on the sprint calendar? Like, I, I just like we, you and you and I have discussed extensively about our issues with the sprint format. Obviously half of the Qatar Grand Prix recap in 2023 um, is about why the sprints are bad. Um, we have a full episode on trying to fix the sprint format that will be tagged above if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, but we have kind of come to this understanding and kind of figured out that sprints do better on shorter tracks. Spa is one of the longest tracks on the calendar. Why are you sprinting there? And like, what happened to the Red Bull ring in Austria? That's such a good sprint. It's a short track. Why? Yeah. Spa. I Why? No I, I, it's I, so I, dumb. I, like, the, obviously, you, you know that we are, we are less stringently opposed. Like, we don't think that sprints belong on the calendar, but the, the format that we have this season is less terrible. But yeah, I just, I, I, I don't, A, I don't understand spa and I don't like it and B I really am annoyed that two of the American races are sprints and also that means half of the sprints in you know in in the north south America portion of, of the you know of the world are sprints and so that you know leaves Montreal and Mexico and Vegas as the non-sprints in North America and South America and I don't love it no <sighs> Yeah. Like, I get it. I get why they change it up. But Spa has absolutely no business being a sprint weekend. Zero. Yeah, especially, like, with, with the weather that we always run into in Spa right. that we will exactly. probably see, you know, you know next next week. Like, it's, it's just, it's not going to go well. Um, it grinds and like, my gears how little they think about this. No, like, I, you, one would think that they, they would have thought this through more. But like you said, like, hundreds of people had to approve this. Hundreds. But it's always my thing. Something of this magnitude gets approved by a hundred people. And that means a hundred people had to be like, yes, spa is a good idea for sprints. Yeah. I want to know like what the mindset behind it was. Like who in the world thought that that was a, who, who thought that was a good idea? Like, you know, Stefano Domenicali loves sprint races. We know that. But, right. like, who said, like, who, like, walked into Stefano's office and said, Stefano, my dude, Spa should be a sprint race. Like, that's even more absurd than our idea that Monaco should be a sprint race. Exactly. If you make Spa a sprint, make Monaco a sprint. Yeah. Do it. I dare that you. That might actually help Monaco, other than, you know, <laughs> making the car smaller, which we'll see in two years. Um, but I will also point out that, Per F1 and per the F1 article, sprint live audience figures have been higher, but they, they, they pointed that out specifically to China and that the audience figures for the sprint qualifier and sprint race were up 40% in the top 15 markets in China compared to the two practices for the opening races. But here's my thing. Of course, numbers were higher up in China. One of the biggest markets in the world that is part of this top 15 is the Chinese market. So, of course, all of China is going to tune in to watch Zhou Guanyu. And this is the first time that China was on the calendar in five years. And it was big deal. Zhou Guanyu, Chinese driver, etc. So, of course, it's going to be up 40%. You can't say that it was just because of the sprint that it was better. Like, you, you, you could can't have had say them that. driving backwards on the entire circuit and 40% more would have tuned in. We've been dying to go to China. You and I have talked about it a lot. We wanted to see China. Of course, it's a huge deal because Joe is there for the first time. Like, yeah, no, that's, that's a horrible statistic. Yeah. That's like the, saying you're a hundred percent more likely to be wet when it's raining outside. 
Like, yeah, new shit. exactly. So I just, I, I, I saw that and it was like, no. And like, they, you know, the Miami numbers were up too, but like, you know, everybody was watching Miami in the hopes that it was going to be, they, they were watching the Miami sprint in the hopes that it was going to be better than the regular Miami race weekend that we had in 2023. So yeah, there were going to be more people involved and, you know, everyone wants to see the hype and the ridiculous and the spectacle, especially since more and more people don't want to go to Miami because it's actually very expensive and they might as well just watch it on TV. So like, you know, saying that sprints are making these numbers better is like maybe a fraction of what is actually better about, you know, these specific races that we've sprinted at so far. Right. And obviously and we Miami don't have the numbers a, for Austria yet. Right. Miami's a hard one too, though, because I think Miami is one of those races where it's actually on ABC in the U S not just ESPN. So it's getting to more people in the U S right, because ABC US is, is free to air. Right. Exactly. And so Thank you for clarifying that. And we are one of that t- one of the top fifteen markets, so of course Miami's going to be up. I don't know. It's and if, you know it, you know how um, us Americans are. It's like, oh, what's happening here? I should pay attention. But if it's at an yeah, inconvenient it's, it's, time, it's one at of those... four o'clock in the morning, I'm not tuning in. So. Exactly. It's it's one of those like don't let the facts get in the way of a good story type of things, which is something that my former boss you know says all the time. But like don't make the like don't shoehorn facts that make sprints look good when sprints are just annoying they're trying to create a storyline here they're trying to say sprints are successful <laughs> and they're throwing yeah, every the, meaningless the, fact at it so yeah the, the answer is stop trying to make fetch happen because we don't need it 